Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. <laughs> it's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models will practically build Scare themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Murph. Welcome to today's show. Today is going to be part two of showing you around my new uh, Elegoo, what is this? It's a Mars 5 Ultra uh, 3D printer. Uh, it's a resin printer and the, uh, the whole idea behind part one of part two is I don't want to walk you through all the features and all that kind of stuff. No. This, uh, what I want to do is I want to show you uh, guys like me that want a printer, need a printer, but uh, man, I don't know if I can afford it and, and I don't know if I can figure it out and all that kind of stuff. Well, that's what this is about. I, in part one, showed you guys how I got mine and it was a great deal. I couldn't pass it up, so I had to pull the trigger on it. And then my good friend, Mark Miller, he has one of these. He came over and he just kind of helped walk me through it real quick. Uh, I didn't I didn't download the manual yet, any of that stuff. It's uh, just a matter of, he showed me, okay, here's what we do. We go grab this slicing software because there's, um, there's a thumb drive in there that has a couple of different uh, slicing software. But anyway, he showed me where to get the slicing software. It was free. Of course it's free. I'm not going to spend money on that. You know how I am. I'm too tight for that. So I got this free uh, slicing software. He showed me how to put stuff in it, how to um, get the supports on it, and how to, uh, how to slice it. And then at the very end, um, I've got the option of, of where to save it and what to do. Now, Apparently, you can if you read the instructions. Uh, apparently, I could, it's hooked to my Wi Fi and so is my computer. I could print it from my computer. But that's not what I'm going to show you how I'm doing. What I'm going to show you is that, well, when it comes to downloading it, I download it onto this thumb drive and I'll show you how I just put it in here, turn the thing on, put some goop in push the button and away we go basically and then what I do afterwards so stick with Mad Dog Marv as we look at part two of my new Eligu Mars 5 Ultra 3D printer a couple of minutes to slice here's the uh, <clears throat> here's the little pop-up you get and what's important here is my layer height is set at 0 0.020 which means I'm going to get very good resolution uh, most do it at uh, 40 or 50 thousandths. Once it's all done, down here on the very far right corner, it says save. You'll push that and you save it wherever. Save it to the computer. I save it to a thumb drive. Okay, now for the fun part. We're going to start making some models. So I'm going to use some of this uh, 8K Space Gray water washable polymer resin. I got this off of Amazon for $26. Okay, so here's what we're going to use, the 8K um, space, gray, uh, space Gray Water Washable Polymer Resin. I got this off of Amazon. I'll have to look at what I paid for it. But you can see it's uh, you know pretty good sized. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to finish filling my uh, tank here. We don't want to go past the, uh, the max. Stop about right there. Okay, so I printed something earlier and there was uh, some resin left over, that's why I'm just adding to it. Um, and we're going to take our build plate and we're putting the build plate on here. Drop that. Okay, so we're going to turn it on, and then I'm going to put the thumb drive in right here where um, there's room for the USB. It's initializing. Okay, let's get to there. We go. 
I'm just gonna run through this checklist here. We've got that in. We're gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, take just a second to calibrate. Okay, so I chose USB. I push. I can see what I've got here. Uh, I only have one on my USB at a time, and then I just go ahead and let it initialize, which is what it's doing. And you can see the build plate is going down into the goop. I went ahead and put the top on so I don't get anything, any debris in it, any flies, any anything else. And I have also, um, it, it helps keep the smell down, so. Okay, it's done its uh, self-leveling. And we look down here. <clears throat> Here's the time and the percentage. You can see that this is going to be a seven and a half hour, estimated seven and a half hour um, print to do this. So we'll come back and check here in just a little bit and see what's going on. And once it's through printing, you just open the top, take the build plate off, and then you need to spray it off. My buddy Mark says, just do it in your sink with the sprayer. Well, mine isn't hooked up, so I wound up having to do mine outside in the backyard. Okay, so I just got through hosing this off. I just took it out into the, uh, into the garden here with a spray nozzle on my, um, on my hose and just lightly sprayed the whole thing off to get rid of the ex excess um, resin. So now for the interesting part because sometimes this works well and sometimes it doesn't. Um, the toolkit comes with this putty knife. And I'm going to try to carefully, and I'm going to have to show you the way I actually do it, because it's, uh, I want to make sure I don't fling this stuff into, into next week. So I have to very carefully pry it off. I've had one that I actually had to kind of chisel off, which really was the pits. I have to be very careful I don't stab myself with a putty knife. But this is brittle, so I also want to make sure I don't send it flying into oblivion. And there, I got my pieces off. And a little bit left here. You can see some of the scratches I've got from having to chisel this stuff before. I'm not real happy about that. Try and get all this excess off. That came off pretty well today. My dog's going nuts over something. Now I'm going to dry this off and put it back on. So one thing I found is that after I rinse these and while it's still getting the water um, to dry off, this is, this is a little sticky feeling and I could scratch it so i got to be careful. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take it off of the uh, supports now because once it's cured, i found that it becomes even more brittle. And especially with something like these swords, I have um, I've taken chips and chunks and broken and all sorts of stuff. It's not quite as brittle currently, so that's why I am taking it off of the supports now. And I'm just using an old pair of clippers. I'm not using my nice, uh, you know, god hands or you know something like that. Um, these actually, a friend of mine got them off of Timu. Uh, ten for ten for. 10 bucks <laughs> so and I paid for this one this other one that I've got I got another pair here exactly the same I paid like um, 
nine or ten dollars uh, off Amazon. So I guess there are some things on Timu that are worth getting. But for something just like this, it's it's great. I don't have to worry about ruining my nice sprue nippers. Um, that looks like maybe some resin hardened on it, but anyway. So I was able to get it off okay. And I'll go ahead and do that with the rest of this. And I'm just going to put the parts in a little box here. And then I'm going to take it out in the sun. Well, here you go. I've got it off the build plate. I've got it washed. Now I'm going to clean off the, uh, uh, the supports. Then I need to cure it. And I don't have a curing chamber. I'm not going to spend that money right now. So I take it outside. And here in Utah, the UV index is high in the afternoon. So I'm just going to leave it in the sun for about 15, 20 minutes. And should be just fine okay now I'm gonna empty out the, uh, the tub of resin I'll take my jug open it up make sure I got everything here that I might need This was like seven and a half bucks, something like that, on Amazon. Great, great buy. Comes with uh, these metal strainers you can put in here. And I'm just gonna unscrew. Oh, just gonna unscrew the that here. Carefully lift it out and pour. The remaining resin back into the jug. Now I don't do this after every print, only if it's going to be sitting for a while. I'm not sure what time today I'll come back out and do this, but we'll uh, we'll come back out in a little bit and do some more printing. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and clean this out. Okay, so I've got my vinyl gloves on. I I like to use nitrile gloves. It comes with a few, like four uh, uh, latex gloves. I can't imagine why with all the people that are allergic to latex. But anyway, so now we have to be very careful because... Uh, There's a clear film here, and it's quite thin, and we don't want to break it. So we're going to take this that comes with the cleaning kit, and we're just carefully going to squeegee this resin. We don't want to break this. Uh, I did buy more. Uh, you can get them on Amazon pretty cheap. But there's like a thousand screws holding the thing on, so I just don't want to go through all that hassle if I don't have to. And then I'm just going to take some, you can use Windex or whatever. I have this pink glass cleaner that I use that I like. That's why I've got gloves on is I don't want to be touching this stuff. I mean, I don't know, it might make you grow a third ear or something like that. Or horns, but I already have those, so who knows. Anyway, yeah, we want to clean this out pretty good. And you notice I'm just using an old napkin because whenever I go out to eat somewhere or order a pizza or whatever, it comes with napkins, more than I'll ever need. And instead of just throwing them away, I use them for my, my hobby room, for just things like this. Okay. Clean and dry, and as you can see, yeah, there's a bunch of uh, hardware holding it in there. Now that that's clean, I'm going to put it back. Make 
sure this is all clean. And put the screws back in it. Okay, and here it is. Uh, got it assembled. Now, the curing, again, I just put it outside. Even with a cloudy day, it didn't take long, okay? Um, 15 minutes or so, and it was perfectly cured. So here's some of the others that I did. The one on the right is actually the first one I printed. It turned out great. And this character here, yeah, this is a lot of fun. And here's how Spidey is coming along now that I'm getting him painted. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. And, uh, well, we'll see you again soon.